I just thought I'd make a bit of a follow-on video on um, my result video. It's been it's been an okay few days to be fair. Like I've managed to do normal things. Um, last night I went out with some friends, but I didn't drink. I drank orange cordials all night. Um, fifty p. 50p for an orange cordial like the sober life is a cheaper life as well good and um, but i knew if i would drink alcohol or anything i would be all you know i think i would probably got upset about my result um and like the next day with hangover i would have felt um yeah i would have felt really quite sad um i mean i do feel sad to be honest tonight but um i think i'm just tired I didn't get to bed till late. Um, yeah, when I got my nails done with my nail lady, she's honestly like, I feel like she's like my therapist as well. Um, she actually has family who are impacted by HD as well. So um, it was nice to chat to somebody who kind of gets it. Um, yeah. Um, I've seen some friends, I went to the gym with some friends and my friend, my best friend came to visit me this afternoon. Everyone has been so kind. Um, I've cried a few times tonight, I haven't really cried much. I think it's starting to become quite, um, like, I don't know, it feels more real as day go days go on. And, and like I suppose there's less and less people, well, not less because there's so many people who have contacted me but I almost described it as if, you know, when someone passes away and, you know, people send flowers and people, you know, send messages of condolences. It's almost, then when the funeral passes, that's the hardest part, you know, like being on your own and like, you know, not many people checking in. Um, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but obviously like after I posted it on Facebook, a lot of people message me on Instagram. Um... Yeah, and I kind of feel like I'm grieving for a life that I've, like, imagined for, like, 25 years. Like, you know, I always hoped I'd grow older with my partner and be able to have lots of children and, yeah. Um, you know, I've worked really hard my career to date. Um, and to think, like, all of that's going to have to be rethought. I mean, I really, I'm really trying to be positive about it, but some, you know, it's it's just a lot, isn't it? Because I watched um, one of my fellow HDO friends. Well, he's on the HDO board. He's amazing. He's called Seth. Um, and we watched his TED talk on telly today. So shout out to Seth because it's absolutely incredible. Um, I've watched it before, but I just it just meant a lot more to me um this time around because everything he was saying I was like okay I can completely relate he's tested positive um and in the TED talk just kind of spoke about his experiences um and yeah just yeah it was nice to kind of watch that and yeah feel like somebody completely got it and he almost said what I couldn't like necessarily verbalize myself um which I think helped my, we, my, I watched it with my best friend and my boyfriend, so I sort of think it helped them understand. Um, but he was basically saying that, like, the day before his test, he was Seth, and then, like, the day of his test, he was HD Seth. So, yeah, it was a great watch. Mm -hmm.